let's check the machine settings first right click on the machine under settings go to the network and check the adapters first is net second is host only and third is network which I configured that is host only adapter th third adapter and same way on a compute machine compute and controller both machines under networking we are using three adapter cards first is NAT second is uh, host only alright and uh, this is my NAT adapter now once the adapter is configured let's check the machine this uh, process is all about the settings go to the config file cd config under config uh, this is an open stack file where you will see the IP addresses of the machines now this is the list of files uh, the script which he created and the credentials file have all the passwords and the username which will be used throughout this deployment admin user this is a role member then we have admin username is admin admin password is admin pass and for every service you see the username and password like for uh, a cinder admin you know uh, the cinder db user and cinder, uh, uh, cinder user is the cinder cinder db pass all other services the username and passwords glance glance db pass glance password heat keystone neutron neutron db pass and neutron password the password which will be used in my scripts are taken from this file credentials file this is a placement and this is my project name a demo project now let's look at the different path this is the path in my home directory this disk directory and image directory and ISO directory is uh, slash img configuration directory is slash config library directory is lib then that other directories look at the cluster file the sequence of scripts which we will be using so first thing is we have this etc host file which is configured right at the time of installation now I will start from here yum install mysql rabbitmq memcache then keystone then we have keystone auth, tick, auth token then we have glance this is going to be the sequence of the scripts then we have placement doll let's go to the script directory and let's call the scripts one by one this is our open uh, admin open rc where uh, my credentials or the ex environment variables are set and exported so that I can work with OpenStack command line utility I go to the scripts directory CD scripts CentOS because we are working in CentOS 8 and this is the these are the scripts let's start with the yum install mysql memcache and rabbitmq so we'll start with the first let's look at yum install mysql so this is installing mysql installing after installation is done it will create a separate configuration file for openstack under etc my.cnf.d 99-openstack.cnf let's look at this file first just just take a look the, we have executed it installation is already complete let's look at this file first we source the configuration path credentials and functions under library then we see a host name and then installing MariaDB server MariaDB Python 3 MySQL PY MySQL and then after installation is done we are starting it and then we are setting this like we are logging into MySQL hyphen u root 
and then executing this use mysql database update user plugin we are removing the plugin where username is root update user set password 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 which i wanted to set and flush privileges after that we are just verifying that it is working fine mysql hyphen u root and then we are setting this file etc my.cnf.d 99-openstack.cnf and we require these settings default storage engine in odb per files per table max connections and all this step. and finally opening the firewall settings let's check that uh, rabbit mq file message q message so first same step sourcing the files and installing the rabbit mq rapid mq server policy core utils and check policy then enable and start and enable firewall port we also require policy for security enhanced linux let's create the policy so this is the script which is creating a file rapid mq ctl dot te and then checking the module check module hyphen m and then creating the module and inserting the module into kernel and then restarting it. Finally, we check the status and report, and we add OpenStack to RabbitMQ server with the password. Now let's execute the script. This will install RabbitMQ and do the changes as I demonstrated in the script. So it's quite fast. All these scripts will be available in my Git repository. You can download the scripts. So this is two node cluster setup, remember team. We'll be setting up controller and uh, compute node. In just flat 55 minutes, you'll get everything up and running. So once you download, you will be able to do it in just five, 55 minutes. So sourcing the file, this is memcache. Install Python 3 OpenStack client, memcache Python 3, uh, you know, this, and then starting it, binding the server with the IP address, and let's execute this memcache also. So this is memcache server installation, installing packages, and executing the commands in the script. So this is done. Let's check the status whether memcache is running or not. System CTL status memcache D. The server is running. Memcache is running. Let's set up the keystone. Check the file first. Same source file, path, credentials, open stack, functions, and then installing the packages. Setting up the database first. And checking the database whether connecting able to connect to the database locally then checking the database connecting uh, remote and then installing packages yum install hyphen y open stack keystone httpd python3 underscore hyphen mode sgi and then the database function and setting up the database and uh, configuring the keystone configuration file So this will set up the database, setting up database configurations, configuring Farnet token provider, setting up the database strip, initializing the Farnet repositories, bootstrapping, and then httpd.com file. Because we are using CentOS, creating a link, and then replacing this very important point and restarting HTTP service and then opening it the firewall we are creating a firewall policy also so as is a Linux policy keystone httpd building the policy and inserting the policy modules and then opening enabling some fire you know booleans and then setting up verifying setting up the environment variables verifying creating a service project 
creating a demo project, creating demo user, creating the user role. So this is a creating service project. Linking user role and then verifying the keystone installation, requesting an authentication token as an admin user, requesting authentic, uh, authentication token as a demo user. Let's run it and this will step by step do all the processes. The installation of packages, and then configuring the file keystone.conf file creating database in tables for keystone right now initializing Fernet key repositories bootstrapping the identity service starting the service HTTP server started building SC Linux policy module keystone come up creating service project creating demo project creating demo user user role authentication tokens and done Keystone identity service installation done. Let's check using get auth token and we got the token so it is working fine. Next is glance API service let's verify that. So let's install this is a script sourcing all the files path credentials and functions and then installing setting up glance database for uh, database for glance sourcing admin credentials and then creating user creating a role adding the user to the role service creation endpoint creation create endpoints then installing glance and then database functions and the rest of the detail setup so configuring Keystone identity service specific details in the config file using the script and the other sections paste deploy glance store changing the ownership and permissions and starting the glance service enabling firewall D and creating the policy security enhanced Linux policy module This is extra step required because I'm using SC Linux enabled. I'm not disabled it. So my firewall is working, my SC Linux is working and let's execute the script. So creating the user, creating service, adding the user to the service, uh, adding the user to the role, installing packages, and configuration file created populating the databases verifying the service module sc module building and glance started downloading an image and the image created now we have zero s images for testing purpose now the placement before nova we need the placement to be configured same concept I will file the symmetry first was challenging after that it is very easy I modified the scripts and I made them work for CentOS 8 and Victoria right now we are installing OpenStack Victoria on CentOS check the same details user creation role add service create endpoint create same for placement adding a user role adding user to admin role creating the service then creating three endpoints public internal and admin and after that installing so this is service creation and endpoint creation and then installing OpenStack placement API creating this file this is important for uh, HTTPD service I configured it uh, this script is actually editing the file 
openstack-api.conf 00 placement api.conf file under http configuration and then this is main configuration file the database part authentication part populating the databases and restarting the httpd service and restarting the other services execute the script <coughs> this will install and configure placement API service and now it is restarting and it is almost done yes Next is the NOVA controller, NOVA on the controller node. Same process, I start from top, sourcing the files, creating the database, setting up the database for NOVA, setting up the NOVA API, cell database, sourcing admin credentials, and then user create a role add service create endpoint create then installing nova openstack nova api nova scheduler nova conductor nova non vpn proxy installing this and then configuring the main file nova nova.com file the database section Keystone authentication section and then the default section, Glance API section, Log Directory placement section, populating the database. And then starting the service all the services with for loop we can start first we create a array and then we call all the services listed in the array one by one to restart and enable finally opening a port in firewall and then creating a Linux module and inserting it let's launch this Alright, so installing, so this is uh, creating the service, installing packages, configuring file, registering cell 0, populating NOVA database, verify that service restarted conductor non VNC proxy no API inserting the module SLNX module checking the endpoints and listing the image now let's move on to the next service which is a uh, neutron we have done glance, we have done placement, we have done NOVA controller, it's rather neutron on controller. So process remains the same, database part and then creating user, creating adding user to role admin, creating endpoints.
so this is adding the creating the nova or sorry neutron on the controller node this is in three parts part 2 look at the part 2 after sourcing the files we are installing the packages OpenStack Neutron, Neutron ML2 and EB tables. Configuring metadata agent hyphen INI underscore INI file, NOAA configuration file, creating link which is mandatory for ML2 as plugin.ini. Then Neutron for controller node. Main file is neutron.conf under etc neutron. Keystone configuration. Now this is ML2, then we have layer 3 agent, then we have DHCP agent, then populating the database, enabling the firewall, creating Linux bridge CTL policy and inserting, creating building and inserting the module into the kernel. then restarting NOVA service NOVA service Neutron Neutron DHCP Neutron Metadata Agent L3 Agent verifying the operations let's run the script This is populating the database now. Building the policy, inserting into kernel, restarting NOVA service, restarting neutron service, verifying the operations. And you see all the services are up. Let's configure self service Neutron which is Linux bridge OpenStack Neutron Linux bridge installing and configuring it installing the packages and configuring it under VXLAN section and then restarting the services. Yes, we need to add this 99-cctl.conf uh, file. This is mandatory setting. And then restarting all the services. Restarting Linux Bridge. And this is a Neutron DNS mask setting. Let's run this script. So this is running. This will install the package and configure this. Restarting NOVA service. And now you will see all the agents after this service is started. Done. Now Neutron is configured on my controller node. Let's configure the dashboard. Horizon dashboard now. This is Horizon dashboard file. Installing OpenStack dashboard Python 3 heat client. Look at the settings. ETC sysconfig memcache setting up that. Memcache settings. Configuration cache and creating this file adding this file and at the end of the config file where uh, we specify web root logout URL login URL and enables API versions 
this file this content will be added at the back end at the bottom of the file and this is uh, our OpenStack file my time zone is Asia Kolkata and this is important settings we were required to set in OpenStack hyphen dashboard.com file firewall and uh, Apache settings so this will set up the horizon dashboard super fast this is going to make your life very easy if you want to set up a two node OpenStack cloud this will set up in just flat 55 minutes not even one hour so all the settings as per the script verify that Apache service is running so this part is as you know horizon dashboard is also configured now let's look at the cinder controller cinder on the controller node image service oh sorry block storage cinder block storage same process after adding the sources so setting up the database creating user creating adding user to role admin service creation endpoint creation we are creating uh, six endpoints three four version two uh, volume version two and uh, three four version three and then installing the packages OpenStack Cinder setting of the things and main file etc cinder cinder dot conf I mean cinder dot conf file and keystone authentication details my IP Oslo concurrency and the other settings no settings which are required for cinder and restarting the services after that at the end of this firewall settings let's run this this is configuring cinder on the controller node after the configuration is run restarting and enabling open NOAA scheduler NOAA VNC proxy HTTPD restarting NOAA API NOAA scheduler and NOAA conductor after cinder is restarted because we made changes to NOAA.con file we have to restart our NOAA and Cinder services. So Cinder on controller node is done. Let's go to the compute node now. This is our compute node and these are the scripts for compute node. So first thing is NOAA on compute node. So this is NOAA on compute node configuring same file except that we have uh, only four or five scripts to be launched on compute node. So similar settings, this is for NOAA, uh, NOAA on compute node, configuring NOAA on compute node. Keystone authentication details, section, default section, VNC section, glance section, then placement section, and then NOAA on compute, NOAA.com file, checking that whether we have KVM or Kimu, we are using Kimu as simulator quick emulator restarting and building and inserting the SC Linux policy module and then restarting the services this is uh, directly verifying the details from the controller node sitting here on compute node discovering the compute node and verifying the operations listing the services catalog list compute service list and finally NOAA compute status upgrade check because this must be successful uh, verified to be verified on the controller node let's run it so this script will do everything on the compute node for NOAA compute installing of packages
configuring it restarting nova service inserting building and inserting as linux policy into kernel opening firewall ports verifying that service is up and running on the controller node and you see that catalog and the image and the policy upgrade everything fantastically going all perfect so far let's configure now neutron on compute installing packages for neutron on uh, controller we need only Linux agent we don't need anything else Linux bridge on the compute node take a look of this file which I just executed so Linux neutron OpenStack neutron Linux bridge and then other actions rabbit MQ keystone authentication Oslo concurrency and other other things now we run the part 2 you see what is there in the part 2 verifying the services configuring Nova section that is Nova configuration and then restarting compute restarting the services all right the firewall opening building and policy opening the boolean and then after that verifying the details so let's execute the script neutron on compute part 2 now it is listing neutron agents you see all agents up Now this is self-service let's check this file also this is basically enabling the bridge and making some setting into sysctl.com file so this is opening ml2 linux bridge agent file configuring it the public interface plugin ml2 linux bridge agent.ini and then VXLAN action. Let's execute this. This is done. Now this is our Cinder on the compute node. So main Cinder storage. So installing the packages first you'll see cinder device which are going to use sdd that is fourth disk which we have on our machine all right after that we are editing the file installing the packages after the packages are installed configuration section keystone section lvm other sections and finally restarting the service verifying the service and we will be creating a block volume we will be destroying it and we will verify the working of the script by means of volume creation and deletion of the volume Let's execute it. Now, Cinder volume service on the compute node or block volume or Cinder volume, whatever you call it, and it is up and running. Now, we are just trying to create one sample and it's created, verifying it is available and you will see it is available 
after that yes it is available and now we are de deleting it verifying that is gone so cinder service is also completed we are just verifying the service once again just in case after we worked so let's restart if any service is down we are restarting and verifying again so neutron service was dead we just restarted it again we can ver verify again and again same way NOVA compute is up and running so let's go back and check the other services now Cinder service also let's verify and it is running let's go to the controller node now So this is our controller node now we are going to re verify the services if required we will restart system will restart OpenStack NOVA all services put star to restart all the services starting with OpenStack-NOVA and check the status all the services are running NOVA API, NOVA VN, NOVA VNC proxy NOVA conductor and finally NOVA NOVA VNC proxy and scheduler similarly let's check the neutron services also neutron services all services running restarting neutron services we are just now verifying everything configured but we have one more service to configure let we'll do that also let's check that that is orchestration service so after all the services are up and running and we are verify that neutron and similarly open sex cinder also verify that cinder api scheduler cinder scheduler and cinder api both services are running and memcache service don't verify so it is running now let's check the heat controller on the heat on the controller node process remains the same after sourcing all the files for our variables we are setting up the database we are setting up the services database setup details user creation role adding user to the admin role endpoint creation and then creating the heat domain creating heat domain admin user heat orchestration service we are talking about and installing packages for heat these are all packages required for heat mind it we are also uh, including the packages in the command required to display heat in dashboard by default is not available in any documentation so configuring that and that's creating the database and this file line sudo cp you see here just above this this is copying all the files and after that we are restarting let's run the script so this is creating user heat user creating heat and heat cfn service unit entities endpoints heat domain heat domain admin user heat stack owner heat stack user role installing packages after packages are installed configuring settings as given in the file and restarting the service now restarting the 
heat service heat engine successfully started waiting for stack list listing service components and you see heat engine all services up on the controller node let's restart our HTTP D service now we can verify all these on our dashboard let's launch a instance this is instance launch requesting admin credentials neutron agent service this is a script which will launch the instance a demo instance using 0s image so this is verify all the networking details so after all networking specific agents are up and running DHCP namespace bridge after all these things are ready it will start but before that we, we must configure a public and uh, private network so we need to do that first this is configuring public network Con creating a public network so public network created DHCP agent waiting for the bridge to show up and this is private network this will create the private network this is a script for creating private network demo because this will be creating as a demo user so creating verifying so this will create private network or self-service network Let's take a look at the script pause any time to see the content and the repository will be available on github you can download and use the script for your own purpose to set up the two node openstack cloud let's execute it this will configure a private network configuring private network So private network configured. We'll verify the ping command to our private network and public network. We need the router details for that. So let's use ping command. The IP address of our router is required. This is IP 203.0.113. So ping command for private and public and we are able to get the ping command so uh, we are reachable let's launch the instance now this is our dashboard horizon dashboard and this is a restarting OpenStack Nova just to verify once again because we should not get any problem when we are launching the instance
because we configured heat orchestration service so we are just restarting the services OpenStack Nova, OpenStack Neutron and HTTPD verifying the status also Verifying Cinder service. All services up and running. Memcache ID. Perfect. RabbitMQ server. Perfect. launching the instance. This script will launch the instance in private subnet. As an admin user I will be verifying and it will create the flavor, it will create the key if it is not available. So everything will be done by the script. Now everything is up, checking the flavors, images, neutron, neutron agent and you see this is our dashboard, let's launch the dashboard instance at the dashboard also. So this is instance, let's launch, uh, we are creating two instances, one from the command line, one from that dashboard. So this is our orchestration, let's go to the instance and launch it this instance being launched here and this instance being launched here let's type this instance 1 A description demo instance next use 0s image nano flavor all good launch it so this will launch our instance so two instance we have launched one from the console one from the command line so we can verify the instances now we should be able to see both the instances here yes both the instances one is in build state one is active let's look at the console this is our console coming up let's go on the compute here also the one which we launched under project compute instance. Here we will see our own instance and you can see this is the launch instance we launched this is active. Let's see the console again. Hope it is available now. We need to log in at least. Console. Yes, we got the login prompt. Let's log in. 0s is the user, gocubesgo is the password and we got that. Fantastic. Our console, our instance is launched. We can switch to root user also, sudo su hyphen. Can be used to switch to root user and we are good. So t this training was brought to you by the Skillpedia. The Skillpedia, uh, the website is skillpedia.co. Let me show you the website and the course is available under Skillpedia. Skillpedia.co is the website. Join any course, the content, the images, the lab assignment you can get on this website. I will just upload this on this website and you will be able to get this. These are the courses which I offer on my website. Skillpedia.co You see SUSE Administration, OpenStack, Oracle Cloud Certification, these are the courses and this is me. So a lot of courses available here. All high-end technologies based on my 30 years of experience. I have spent uh, 30 years in IT sector and I deliver training on many technologies including DevOps and cloud and Linux. 
my favorite are DBMS, Cloud and Linux. These are my favorite technologies. All right. So if you look at the other courses also, so just visit the website, check the courses of your choice. And if you want discount, I can offer you flat 50% discount if you are interested in any of the course just because you watched this lecture, uh, this lecture till the end. And this nobody else will know. How? Just drop me a message in the comment. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my entire lecture configuring OpenStack Cloud in just flat 51 minutes, 55 minutes to be precise. All right, thank you so much, bye-bye.